Hey, so, so first of all, I want to introduce my good buddy. It feels like family. Owen Sones. I mean, we joke about it, but the last time I was seeing Owen, we were shooting Nerf guns at each other in a basement, you know, in Chicago. How old were you? Six? Probably five or six, give or take, yeah. Yeah, now he's 17, a stud, swings it harder than I do, hits it farther than I do. And the videos you showed, you know, yes, a little bit of this stuff, and then, you know, being more here and him hanging back, and that would kind of get his back fired up right in the lower back. Which has been a problem. Which has been an issue. So, but hop in. Now, show us, what's like a great go-to drill, the lead leg drill, right? The lead leg drill was awesome for him because it really gave him the same sensation I had at a young age. Execute that one for us. Show us how you do that, buddy. And see, he really taps that toe back there. He wants it all on his left side. That's beautiful. And see, what I like about what Owen did naturally, hit like a little knockdown shot. Like, Owen went nuts with it. And, and, and he's like toe tapping to he work. Does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's practically like, dude, you better, you're, 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 you're pretty much like this. <laughs> that's you know? pretty impressive. <laughs> so anyways, you're, I mean, that's pretty much what it was. I find that extremely hard. Yeah. So what I do is I actually have all of my guys, like I, Bo Hostler was a perfect example of this. You know, he really used to go back this way. Um, and, I, and I used to have him hit a lot of balls like this. I actually, here's how I structure it. I go a club head apart, okay? I take my toe and I move it right on my heel back here to where my right knee is just behind my left knee. Now I do, I have my own personal reasons for this. It's because when I was a kid, you know, I used to go that way. So I always wanted the Tom Watson thought of right knee behind the left as I rotated, never going this way. So I actually like tucking it right in there and I'd create and I'd really, but I'm on the ground completely with this foot. This gave me the post, okay? So, but it also helped me feel balanced. And there I bring it in here like this. And this really put me in a position to where you know, I felt like I could rotate around my left side. Do that way, Owen. I think that's good. Yeah, get, get that thing. Go right there. Yeah, and it's taking more of a normal swing, bud. Now go. Yeah, just to give you a little more balance, you know. Um, which, which, by the way, so I just pointed that out because anybody that I ever have come who's not getting on their left side, who has a little bit of back pain, to me, this is the warm-up drill for the first 20 shots of the day. And it just what it does is it prevents anybody from, there's no back leg to back up on. So you're able to really rotate around this lead side. And I always say, the golf swing the right way alleviates pain, doesn't, to me, it properly stretches your body. It doesn't right. hurt you. And the only other thing that I talked about to increase leverage, bud, was getting that right elbow in a little bit. Now, here's the key, guys. We talked about the giving blood, but doing that, not having the hand feel like it has to be strong. Got to get know, the hand on top. Got to have the hand on top, but pulling that arm in, we saw, hey, there's a famous picture of Hogan with his elbows binded together. Yeah. Not only does this keep the hands in front of the body center as you turn, but here's the thing that's really important for you. What I see with Owen, we talked about not having that club loaded up here enough, okay? So it'd be more in this position, which would cause the extra arm swing too. A lot of that to me is, if I have this arm working away from me and I, and I hinge the club, that's where I am. But if I have the arm in the right position, watch this, with no more hinge from here, that club sets better and loads better, okay? So, what I like for Owen was a simple process. Create more post, a little more of the giving blood position. This will help him get a more definitive left side to rotate around. And this right here will help him set the golf club a little bit better, have the arms and hands a little more I connected. think that's important because one of the things that we talked about a lot or we mm -hmm. have talked about is that, you know, he tends to get a, and what you said about right arm, I think is really important because when the right arm is too rigid, well, here's the effect. The right shoulder is now exactly. going this way. So, I always show people like, look, if you break this, what just happened to the shoulder? It came down. Yeah. Well, if it came down, it can go back. Exactly right. It's, if it's going like this, it's like you're already, you know, you're getting into that position. So but what I, what I like about what you're teaching, Adam, is that you're doing as much as you can in the setup so you don't have to do it in the swing. And Absolutely. so when you go, when, I like that. Like get the right hand here, but then yes. tuck that elbow in like this and then maintain it, right? And now all of a sudden he's here there it is. of being there. Guys, I mean, think about this too. I love what Todd just said about the shoulder. This right here, when in this position, goes this way. And you know, now all of a sudden you're getting teeter-totter shoulders, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Versus the ability to, if, and I want everybody to do this who's watching this. Literally give blood like this and put the hand right out. If you're to turn back, you'll see, wow, that's the perfect swing plane. Wow, that, the hand's maintained in front of my body center. You know, wait, we don't want, you don't want people's hands on. Like never this, want right? it under, but I want them for the feeling of how their arm works. Yeah. Put it in this position and feel what it does for your shoulder. It opens it up and it gets the right shoulder blade really tucked back in a better position. If I go opposite, right? You know, you look at how, how that works in the swing. Okay. But you know, 
it's doing this to the degree at which I can do it, but still get the right hand on top enough to where the crease between index finger and thumb is still inside my forearm yep. and not this way. The mistake would be, hey, let's give blood. No. Yeah. no, okay? It's get the grip on right, pull the elbow in a little bit closer. All I'm doing is, you know what's funny? I actually do it with my hip bump. I go like this. So when I'm here, this arm sets up naturally like this, and I go right elbow in, hip bump forward. Yeah. And it's just to me, it's, it's something I've always, always done. It's my trigger. This is a feel I give a lot of my players, okay? Ready? So I'm gonna hold this in, and I'm gonna set that club away. You see how that left hand, your left shoulder is pushing into that heel pad to create more of this, yeah. and that elbow is more in this position. And then watch, big turn to the top. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, that to me, that a little more of that would go a long way. So it's like, you know, if I'm holding this in and letting it just be more of this look right here, yeah. you know, to me, I, I love this. And, you know, look at the, the left is easy to understand. You're just, you know, pushing away to create that L. My left shoulder, I feel like the back of my shoulder is pushing into the heel pad to create that. Now, I'm using that angle I have here. If I push down on that as I turn, boom, there it is. But this right arm is huge because I can do that all day long and if I straighten that out, it's hard to create that angle. So, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of keeping that in place as the hinge starts. There you go, bud. Like to me, in a perfect world, you work on that right there. Oh, dude, good news. I moved the shot tracer right down the line on that one just so we got that down the line video. Get the hip a little bit more posted up so you don't have to try to find that post so much in your downswing. Yeah. Next thing, just get that right arm in a little better position to start without affecting your grip because the grip's great. I would go from there, guys. I'd yeah, go from there. I like it because you know? like it, it'll set the club. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Looks great right there. Elbow, last right thing, yep. Soil. And then taking that funny bone and just getting it closer to that one a little bit, right? Good, buddy. Good. It's really good right there. Yeah. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.